Hello everyone, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics and in this video we are talking about live streaming software and we are com um, comparing OBS versus XSplit. Those are the two kind of really affordable free options for live streaming and we want to show the differences and uh, which one might be best for you. So one of the reasons why we're doing this video is because once you get involved in using a live streaming software, and I'll pull up OBS here on the background, um, you, you don't really want to change, you don't want to switch because you've already learned it, you've set it up, and it, it, you know, once you get the software you're gonna use for your live broadcast, you normally just stick with it. So it's really important to make the right decision right up front, um, and you'll save yourself a lot of time. So we've done some research, and uh, the very first slide I want to show is, you know, the four that we're, the four that we recommend that we're kind of uh, comparing here. The two on the left, Open Broadcast Software and XSplit, are the free, really less expensive ones. And then on the right is Wirecast and VMix. And these are all software-based, so you could use your own laptop, your own computer to use them. We have uh, some tips on how to use them. Uh, but in this video, we are just doing XSplit versus OBS, which are the free solutions. OBS even has some, I mean, XSplit even has some paid solutions. And it's in a larger um, uh, video series where we're introducing live streaming. We're talking about equipment, software. Now we're doing this OBS versus XSplit. Then we're doing vMix versus Wirecast. And then we're talking about tips for live streaming corporate events, concerts, and webinars. So that's kind of the frame of reference. When you're setting up a live stream, uh, these are the things that you kind of have to budget for other than internet and a, a CDN, which is free with YouTube Live. But a computer, software, we put in $200, you know, it could be more, it could be less, cameras and um, microphones and audio. So that's just, just some random numbers we threw in there, um, but just, just to think about. Um, your choice here, if you're watching this video, is you're going to use your own laptop. Uh, you're not going to be using some you know, piece of uh, hardware that, that already is all optimized and set up. So tip number one, use your graphics card. Um, you know, they're, they're, uh, OBS might not have a way to really, I mean, they're talking about using a GP, GPU-based game capture for high-performance game streaming. Um, but uh, one of the things you definitely want to do is enable your Windows computer to run with your NVIDIA card or your Mac um, computer to run with your graphics card. Uh, by default. So every time you, you launch it, it just knows that it wants to use the GPU processor. So let's take a quick look at the OBS um, software and what I'm going to do uh, really quickly. This is, this is a picture of it. Does, you can't even really see what it looks like, but the thing, the thing to take away here is that it's open source. So they're giving it to you for free saying, hey, you can do anything you want with this, but you have to know what you're doing. So if you think you're in over your head already, don't start with OBS. Start with maybe XSplit if you need a free solution because XSplit is more drag and drop and, and plug and play. So um, XSplit looks, this actually, let's see, where's my XSplit pick? Here's my XSplit pick. It's, it's a little bit more, um, you know, plug and play, uh, a little bit more intuitive. Drag and drop, you can drag and drop a screen capture in, drag and drop a video, a picture, all the things that you might want, a live camera. Uh, so it's very easy. It's one of the easiest for like people who just don't want to get into live broadcast, but need, uh, you know, a lot of people using live broadcast today are using it to make videos like we're doing here. And I'm using my laptop to do this whole video. Um, so it's drag and drop. It's easier to, it's easier to use. Um, so let's take a look at their websites. And then really quickly, we'll talk about pricing. And we will look at all the features that XSplit uh, has been talking about why you would want to pay a little bit extra for XSplit. Um, so first of all, let's start with uh, OBS. So here's OBS. There's two versions here. You can get the classic, which is obviously kind of tried and true. And then they've got their uh, studio edition. The studio edition, they're saying, was rewritten from the ground up. Um, and it's got more features, better API. It's available for Mac, Windows, or Linux. And it seems like it seems really great. There's some cool plugins, and the plugins are usually what you know bring the power to OBS. You got the simple scene switcher, the video source, and the and the browser. What I found is if you can get away with OBS, get away with OBS. You know, um, so many gamers use it. I've even seen people live stream like Ultimate Frisbee with OBS uh, and be able to update scoreboards and stuff like that. So if you're strapped for cash, you don't have a budget, OBS is the way to go. 
Um, let's take a look at XSplit. And I've got their feature list here. Again, XSplit is just a lot different. You know, you always get what you pay for, and XSplit's giving you a whole bunch of different enhanced, what they call enhanced production tools, and then effects like source transitions and um, the ability to do commercial use without needing um, a overlay. Sometimes these free services will actually put a uh, watermark on your, your system. You can add a webcam. You can do Twitch. And what I would say in general, because we're not going to go through all of these, uh, is take a look at them. But in general, XSplit's going to give you more features, but you have to pay monthly. It's like a really low monthly cost of like $8.99. Um, whereas with like some of the more expensive ones, um, such as Wirecast and vMix, you pay once and you get a really great live streaming software. So I use vMix. I think I mentioned that. Um, but you know, overall, if you can get away with these free ones, do it. Um, but if you need something more robust, our next video is going to be re reviewing vMix and Wirecast. Feel free to ask questions below. That's what we're here for. We want to help you guys out. We want to help you make the right decision. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, if you found this video helpful at all, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, take a look at some of our other videos. And we have free virtual sets that you guys can use with vMix and Wirecast. Um, to get you guys started. Thanks. Have a nice day.